Hey guys, gonna do a video on upgrading your factory lift pump uh, for a P-Pump 12 valve. Um, I do this mod quite often. I have had it on my trucks in the past. Um, I have had a truck make uh, 557 horse, I think it was, um, at the wheels with this mod. Um, so, you know, if you're not talking big power um, and you wanna stay with a mechanical lift pump, um, this is definitely an option for you and you don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. So this is a factory style um, lift pump for a 12 valve. Now this is a brand new one because I, I, I do it to brand new ones um, for guys. Whenever we put one on, if it's a hot rotted truck, we'll always upgrade this. So basically this, it's not really a very simple setup. Um, so this is the plunger. This touches the camshaft and moves in and out by the camshaft, the lobe on the camshaft. This is your plunger. Um, so not all pumps are equal, I guess that is the right way to say it. Um, this is a 30 mil plunger. Um, and now if you're doing one, you prefer to do it to a 30 mil. Um, now if you have a older pump or some aftermarket pumps, I guess, let's say aftermarket pumps or cheap pumps, um, they'll have a 26 mil plunger in them. Um, so you're better off to use a bigger plunger if you're doing it. Now you can do this to a used pump if you want, you don't have to use a new pump. Um, so the function of this per se is this a spring sits there and then this threads in there, this goes in here. So basically what we do is there is a, a screen in there. You can pull that screen out if you want to. I personally leave it in there. I made that 550 horse at the wheels with that screen in there. So I, it's one of those things, I suppose it could be a restriction, um, but unless you have a filter before it, um, on a daily driver, I probably would leave it there um, unless you don't care, then pull it out. Um, but now this plunger, um, so when the plunger is pushed by the engine, or by the cam load, I should say, when it's pushed by the cam load, that's actually what loads the, that's what loads the pump with fuel. And then this spring is what actuates it and pushes the fuel up through the pump. And then this is where your feed line would go to your engine. So, um, taking this spring, which is a lot less force than this, which I guess actually could measure, but anyways, um, what you can do is you can use, this is a valve spring and it's a comp cam valve spring, the part number, which I'll put down in this, uh, in the description, but the part number is a nine, seven, three dash one. Um, you can buy them. They're cheap. Um, I think, um, they're like five, six bucks. They're cheap. Um, I always buy them in packs of 24. Um, there again, they're a little bit cheaper when you buy them in packs of 24, but um, that's how I buy them. So um, really to upgrade it, it's it's real easy. You can do it on the engine. So it's beyond the engine like this, um, you, whoop, you unthread this, pull this spring out, put this spring in. Obviously you gotta have the plunger in there, but um, now this, basically what this will do for you, um, it just, it ups the, the pressure that's going to the pump. And like I said, you can make, you know, if you're make, you want to make 400 low fives, um, you know, this is more than sufficient. You don't have to have an electric pump. Um, you know, it does the job. Um, I personally would upgrade the filtering myself. Um, but that's completely up to you. As long as you're changing your fill filters all the time, you don't have to. Um, it's very simple. You know, you can do it. Like I said, you can do it on truck. You just pull this off, um, which this is your, your feed or your inlet from your tank will go here. Now, something that I would recommend doing and that this is what I had done to my truck. Um, I actually had a five eighths fuel line from the tank, um, on a draw straw for that. And then I upgraded this line from here, um, hat to half inch is what I had. And then I fed from, um, the side of the pump and the front of the pump. Um, but that was, I was just trying stuff out. The truck now has a, has a 165 gallon an hour fast unit on it. But, um, that was just because I had outgrown, I guess you'd say outgrown the, um, that capability. Cause the truck is, I would say, well, we dynoed it in the winter tune and it made 619 horsepower in the winter tune. Um, and we're at, um, like 4,600 feet of elevation. Um, so it, the truck works pretty good. 
Um, and then I, that's my daily driver for the most part. And I tow with it at that horsepower and everything. So it's not like I turn it up and down. I have it tuned so I can tow with it there. Um, so yeah, this is, it's a cheap upgrade for you guys that want to stay with a factory style lift pump. Um, or, you know, just don't want to spend the money at this point. Now, one thing, if you are pulling this off, um, there's usually a fuel heater here that bolts to, um, that bolts to the engine as well. And there's a plate that goes in between here. If you're going to pull that fuel heater out of there completely, you need to put a spacer in there. Otherwise, this does not have enough travel and you'll actually wreck the lobe on the camshaft and or the pump. Um, you know, the pump's cheap if it wrecks, if it wrecks the lobe on the camshaft, then when you don't have much of an option, you're doing an electric lift pump. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the video on this one. Um, and this, that, that will, this will up your pressure I think on mine, we're going back a few years now. Um, I think on mine, I upped the pressure like 20, P 20 PSI at wide open throttle. And that was that when I got into that above 550 horse was when I started to see the, my fuel drop off again. And that's when I went to the, to the fast unit. Um, and I run the fast unit at 60 PSI. Um, so yeah, one of those things. But um, cheap upgrade, awesome to do. Um, something else, actually. If you're going to do it to a used pump, something that you want to look at is in this port here. This one actually doesn't have anything in it. But some of the older pumps or the factory pumps actually will have a relief built in here. Um, and if it has a relief built in there, you either need to plug that relief off or replace it with a new pump. I would recommend just replacing it with a new pump. If you got a, a pump that has one of those in there, it's an old pump. Um but completely up to you whether you want to change it or not. But then, because if you don't, if you leave that relief in there, what will happen is, is that you overpower the relief in the pump versus overpowering the relief valve. Um, and that's uh, in my this, in the last video, I showed some um, relief valves. That's something else you want to do too. Um, check out that uh, this, the video on um, upgrading the overflow valves. Um, because you want to do that at the same time as you're doing this, um, because there's no point in doing, um, doing this and not doing the overflow upgrade and the overflow upgrade, uh, you can do for free. Um, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. Yeah. Uh, if you got any, um, comments, hit us down below, um, like, and subscribe. And if you got any, um, anything you want me to do a video on, uh, there again, hit us up in the comments and I'll do my best to get it out there.